Taiwan's president elect Lai Ching Ti has secured victory in the presidential elections and is now poised to confront a formidable challenge when he assumes the office in May, primarily dealing with China's persistent denouncement of him as a dangerous separatist. Despite Lai's repeated assurance during the campaign about his intention to maintain the status quo with China, which claims sovereignty over Taiwan, Beijing has consistently criticized him. In an interview in July, Lai expressed a consolatory tone stating, We don't want to become enemies with China, we want to become friends. However, Beijing perceives Lai as a separatist, primarily due to his comments made in 2017 when he referred to himself as a worker for Taiwan's formal independence, a red line for China. Lai's previous statements, including calling himself a practical worker for Taiwan independence in 2018, has further fueled animosity from Beijing. A Chinese newspaper, the Global Times, even called for an international arrest warrant for Lai under China's 2005 anti-secession law. Despite Lai's insistence that he meant Taiwan is already an independent country, Beijing remains skeptical. During the campaign, Lai had aligned himself with President Tsai Ing-wen's assertion that the Republic of China, Taiwan's formal name, and the People's Republic of China are not subordinate to each other, emphasizing Taiwan's sovereignty. Despite China imposing sanctions on several senior Taiwanese officials, including Lai's running mate, Tsai Obi Kim, there has been no similar action against Lai up until now. This lack of sanctions might indicate Beijing's willingness to leave the door open for future talks with him. Lai, who became Tsai's vice president in 2020, has inherited the presidency after serving vice president during the Tsai's second term. His background as a physician specializing in spinal cord injuries and his humble origins in northern Taiwan, his father was a coal miner, adds a personal touch to his political career. Now, Lai assumes office against the backdrop of increased Chinese military drills near Taiwan, and officials anticipate that China may intensify pressure on the incoming president, potentially through military maneuvers in the region. In the past, Lai when asked about a head of state he would like to have on dinner, he expressed his desire to dine with Chinese President Xi Jinping, advising him to chill out a little. Such remarks were met with criticism from China's Taiwan Affairs Office, emphasizing that Lai's Taiwan independence nature remains unchanged. Beijing continues to demand Taiwan's government to accept the One China Principle. However, that is a condition that Lai and Tsai have consistently rejected. And now, the people of Taiwan has also rejected the very same in these elections.